Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Josh Ellsworth with Stalls, and you're getting a double dose here today. Uh, this is not the official Making It Together uh, session. Jenna just had that from that wrapped up about 15 minutes ago, so you can always watch that playback on all of our channels. Uh, but I wanted to come live to you for some exciting stuff. Um, number one is I have a new piece of equipment uh, beside me. Uh, and if you follow our Facebook group of Heat Press for Profit, you know that I was over at our Stalls Hotronics facility yesterday as they were just building a ton of these Hotronics 360 IQ hat press machines. And so um, we are excited that uh, we've been calling people and a lot of the uh, initial orders will start to ship out uh, next week, June 2nd to 5th. We have a lot going out and then we will start to work our way into more of the pre-order list. So if you're on that pre-order list, I know we'll be working through it for quite some time, but you should be getting a call to firm up your order um, over the next uh, 15 to 20 days, and then we'll be uh, sorting through these throughout the months of June and July. And if you want to order a new one, you can get on the list and it will ship in early August is our estimated timeline as of right now. So a couple things today. One is I want to show you some photos uh, that I was able to capture while I was over there. One photo that shows all of the machines. Um, so let me just show you that now. Let's see over at the factory. And so we, uh, I was able to press about two dozen hats. Uh, yesterday, I brought them back to my home office and I'll be able to uh, show you some of the finished results from some of those. And then of course, because we have a machine here together, I wanna show you what's so special uh, about this machine and decorate a few hats together. So we're gonna do that for a bit. And then I have Tom Ron from Envision Tees that's going to be joining us hopefully on the back half of the broadcast. And we're gonna be talking about an event, a uh, big event that's going off next week that I'm speaking at uh, that starts Monday, June 1st, that's called Shirt Lab Summit. And I'm gonna share a link and show you how you can get a free ticket to that uh, for your basic pass to watch uh, me plus 29 other uh, speakers, experts in the industry that's gonna help you grow your business. One of those being Dane Clement from Great Dane Graphics that uh, is part of the group stall organization. I know you're gonna love his session as well. So yeah, Patrice, you get uh, Jenna and Josh on the same day. Uh, it's a Friday and we are excited to be broadcasting live uh, to you. And so I just couldn't wait. I couldn't wait till Wednesday. I'm sorry on this machine. It's just, uh, I shot a video yesterday that's in editing over the weekend. Maybe that'll publish Monday or Tuesday, uh, but I couldn't uh, even wait for that because I want to show you what's so great about this machine. So uh, let's start with explaining it. Uh, this is a hat press, so it has a very specific task of being able to heat print headwear. And one of the beautiful things about this press is that uh, no longer do we have need the interchangeable bottom attachments. We've been able to develop this uh, dual silicone platen where one platen that comes built in with the machine uh, does it all. Any youth or adult hat, uh, you can decorate on this one single platen. And I've pressed a bunch of different styles that I'm going to show you. So that's pretty cool in its own right. Uh, the other big thing is we've developed this machine to address a real challenge. Um, there's a lot of um, art, I would say, to pressing hats today. Uh, we know we have some some folks that are experts on it in our Heat Press for Profit Facebook group that kind of hack their cat press to be able to get uh, rid of something called the scorch mark or the crease line. And so this hat press automatically does that for you because it heats up from the bottom. So not only does it heat from the top, it heats up from the bottom. And that helps to be able to develop a recipe where you can get rid of those markings. Um, and more than that, this press allows you to heat press uh, dimensional logos. So something we see in headwear is a lot of dimension. This is one of our 3D embroidered logos that we have created at stalls. It actually has um, a lot of dimension to it. And it looks like uh, it's sewn to the cap that after it's heat applied when actually it's just heat applied on this press. And so given the combination of the top and bottom heat, how the hat fits onto the press, and then we have a special pad 
that goes on top of your design, uh, a couple different thicknesses of that that come with the press to heat apply it, it makes the job so much easier. Now, I do wanna say this press is not one that delivers an extremely heavy pressure. So when you start to deal with screen printed transfers, uh, we're gonna do some more testing on this press, but for your traditional screen printed transfers that require a firm pressure, you're still gonna wanna keep that old hat press around or the new hat press if you buy a new one, the, the Hotronics auto open clam. But the 360 IQ, uh, really helps for some of this dimensional stuff. So let's um, let's make one together uh, to start things off. Can you press it, please? Yes, I'm going to press it. I'm going to press uh, three hats with us today. I'm going to do uh, two that I know that are going to work. And in uh, live style, I'm going to try one that I don't know. And we're going to see if I can make it work. That's how I like to roll. And so this is an auto snap cap. It's one size fits most. Um, has a mesh backing, um, has uh, what's called a fused buckram, which basically means it's a structured cap and structured caps tend to be the most challenging uh, for decorating with heat. Uh, but how you load it is really simple. Number one is if you, if the sweatband is thick enough where you can flip it out to be able to print it, that's preferred. But some sweatbands are really thin and you're not going to be able to handle them and flip them out. So it's okay to lay it on there as well. But if you can flip it out, um, that's preferred. So you just kind of bring it in like this, um, load it onto the machine with that um, sweatband facing out and you line up the cap. There's like a little indent on this uh, dual silicone uh, platen that allows you to line up the cap. And then there's a hold down device right here that you're going to flip and it's going to just lock the hat in place and it holds the surface uh, flush against there. Now, I know this is tough to see, so let me try to give you a little bit of an aerial view just so you can see kind of what's happening here. So you can see the uh, hat is loaded there, it's flush against, and what you also see is our 360 IQ control board. So if you have the Fusion IQ, you're already familiar with this nice large touch screen, but if you're not, uh, let's show you how this works. Number one is it's fully independent temperature controls. So with the touch screen, I can set my top heat. In this case, I have 280 degrees on the top, and then I have a line there that represents the difference between the top heat and the bottom heat, and I have 320 degrees on the bottom. Now, um, I have 25 seconds set on the pressure and you can store presets in here and everything. Uh, when you're heat applying our flex style badge, which is what we're gonna do here, it takes between 20 and 30 seconds with a uh, fit with the thin foam pad. And so that's what we're gonna use. But I wanted you to see that up close. I wanted you to get a look at the hat loaded. And now I'm just going to uh, position my design. This is flex style. So this is, some people call it liquid embroidery, but there's a lot of texture and dimension uh, to this logo. Basically you upload your artwork at stalls.com. We print this for you. You can order as little as 25 pieces and you get it just like this with the heat applied backing uh, for hats or for whatever you wanna decorate that's ready to position and press. So all I'm gonna do is position this onto the press. I just hold it there for a second. There's no preheat involved because it's already heating from underneath, so you don't need to worry about that. And then for flex style, I'm going to take this thinner pad, which is about the thickness of the emblem that I'm doing, and I'm going to just lay it on top, okay? After I do that, all you need to do is lock the press into place. I do need to buy a new table for my press. Um, just on a lunch tray right now, which isn't very sturdy, but it's what I had for a quick demo. Um, I'm gonna lock it down. The press is going to count down those 25 seconds that I've applied it for. So the combination of that pad, heating it from the bottom, and the silicone, uh, the dual silicone platen, which is one of our patents uh, on the press, uh, helps to give me a nice, accurate application without the scorching. Yes, it does auto open, so it has the best of our fusion technology and our auto open clam into one machine. I unlock the hold down device. I always like to remove the uh, cap from the press before I peel the backing. Um, if you peel it on there, it's still warm on the back and then you're going to peel the backing and we have a completed result. So you can see the texture, um, you can see the dimension on it, you can see no uh, marking, no creasing on the hat, uh, very easy to customize. Now, of course, this is a mesh cap, right? But we call this press the 360 because I can print 360 degrees around the cap with the logo location. So if it weren't a mesh cap, it's very easy to load the cap on, hit the side location, even get to the back print area on fitted caps with plenty of room 
or the bill of the cap, even on these large bills uh, to hang below. And actually one of the hats I'm going to try later is kind of wild. It ha it's this sort of style to see if I can print it. Um, and so lots of bill um, or rim to hang below uh, the press. So that is flexed out. Now let me grab a couple hats that I've printed with flexed out to show you those results before I get to the 3D embroidery. So this one says enlighten, inspire, re-energize. Uh, you can get kind of a nice metallic texture to it. And so you upload the logo and flex style comes in a variety of styles. It comes in uh, texture like you see here and we'll apply the texture for you and you approve a proof um, before you order it. Um, over at Stalls, you pay a $50, $52 art setup charge to get your proof and get your texture applied. Um, and then basically it's just a price per piece after that, which is based on the size of the logo. So that's one example of flex style. Let me grab a couple more. I love this hat. This hat is from Outdoor Cap. It's called their One Touch Hat. And the marketing points here that they say is seam free construction, cooling and moisture wicking sweatband lightweight performance. So this is like a super lightweight performance cap. There are no seams to this. Um, so, you know, typically this would be called a five panel cap, right? Because there's no center seam. So this panel is uh, flat, very easy to apply to. There's six panel caps, which have a seam down the center. I'll show you some of those. Uh, this one is just a seamless construction. And so we've applied our dome uh, material onto this cap. So you get a lot of that nice uh, rounded uh, dimension, a really nice cap, no scorching at all on it. And then um, let's see, this is a six panel cap. So let's press our 3D embroidery on that. Tough to see with the camo design, but you can see the center seam. So a couple cool dimensional products for hats. Uh, again, we're gonna flip the sweatband out to load it. This one's an example of something that's really thin. It's tough to flip out. So I'm just gonna load it on there, no big deal. Lock the hold down device, take my 3D embroidered uh, design. Guys, if you've ever done 3D embroidery, you know how difficult uh, it can be. Now we've made it so easy that you just order the 3D embroidered logos from stalls. We've shared the link and you're just gonna hold this down for a second. It does have a heat activated adhesive on the back. So I always like to just give it a second there so it holds and it's not gonna wobble on that. Hat. And then for this one, this was my pad for the flex style. I'm gonna take the medium thickness pad and that will go over my 3D embroidery. So I'm just gonna cover it. Now my time needs to be at 60 seconds. I've already preset this so it toggles between 25 and 60 because um, I knew I wanted to show you two hats, but I'm just gonna lock it down till that magnet engages. It's very easy to lock down. And then what are we gonna do for 60 seconds? So what I always say, if you have enough business to buy one cat press, you really need to have two presses because one operator with these 25 to 60 second dwells can really be operating two machines uh, side by side, maybe even three machines at the 60 second dwell uh, to really turn through your jobs quicker. So headwear is a big category that's going to allow you to uh, increase the sales in your business, hopefully increase your ticket price per customer, which should be one of those key metrics you're looking at. And now it's simple. So for those of you that need more information on the 3D embroidery or the flex style, you can visit the stalls website. Uh, you really can't beat this press uh, with what it does. Something else it'll do, I'm not gonna press it today, is leather patches. So we do the leather patches at stalls. So this will be in my video. Uh, when we launch that, uh, which will hopefully be Monday or Tuesday from the manufacturing floor. You can see it auto opens, just remove the pad, remove the hat, and that's on there to stay. And so you get that nice dimension, you get good contact everywhere. Um, it's just a really uh, beautiful result. I think I showed you guys a hat, um, a Red Sox hat that I made at a trade show back in October on the first generation of this machine. It looked kind of like this logo. I just did a different color yesterday. Um, but no problem uh, pressing this. I've been wearing it for, what is it, six, seven months now uh, with great durability. So I think this press is a game changer. I see lots of questions coming in around price point. So the price of the press is $1,495. Uh, we did pre-sell a lot of them at $1,295. So we are going to go ahead and run an introductory offer at $1,295. And so if you get on that pre-order list now for your machine to ship in August, you'll get the $1,200. Uh, $95 price um, on the unit. And to get on that list, all you need to do is call our customer service team at 1-800, the number four, and then just spell out stalls 
on your phone. And so they'll be able to help you. So I'll show you a couple more hats before we uh, bring on Tom for a quick interview here. Uh, this one's a Lakers design that combines 3D embroidery with regular embroidery. Not selling this yet, but I had this patch, which was really cool, that has sublimation combined with embroidery. So we've applied that to, this is a new era 3930 uh, fitted cap. One of my favorite styles of caps is a 3930. Did this one with the metallic dome to show you a different placement. Also show you that you can do wrap around uh, on the text. So you can do the full uh, area. Uh, this one, flat bill, leather patch, snack, uh, snapback. Um, and even stretch litho uh, on the press, no problem. Um, onto this performance uh, flex fit cap. So lots of uh, lots of great opportunities here. And then I know we always get lots of questions around trucker caps. Um, no problem hitting a nice full print area on trucker caps. Now, when, a couple limitations, I already mentioned the screen printed transfers because of the pressure. I would also say, um, I wouldn't recommend this press for sublimation. You're not gonna be able to bring those temperatures up to a point for sublimation, but I know you can make plenty of money uh, doing exactly what this press can do. So I'm gonna try one more application uh, that I told you I wanted to experiment with. This uh, hat is from Wholesale Boutique and you can see the style of it, uh, really cool here, um, just for different market. And let's go ahead and load this onto the press. So again, it just slides on. I did preload it before to make sure it was gonna fit um, and there's no problem with it hanging below. I'll fold this down so we can see a little better. In this case, I wanted to try just heat transfer vinyl. This is our glitter heat transfer vinyl that's been cut and weeded with a monogram design that I thought would pair well on this. I'm just going to position that into place. And because it's a thinner product, I'm going to use my uh, thin pad. You always need to apply with the pad when you're pressing anything on this press. Uh, it helps it to lock down and to heat accurately. And I'm gonna try it first at the 25 seconds. If I don't get enough temperature uh, through there at 25 seconds, uh, when I go to peel, I'm just gonna reheat it and run the 60 second dwell um, and that should work just fine, but let's try it. All right, Patricia, the heat press is great. Yeah, we love this one. Um, Patrice says, looks fantastic. Love the texture and dimension. Uh, let's see. Um, once you have paid the artwork fee uh, for your flex style, that design is set up and your reorders, um, you don't have to pay another artwork fee if it's into the same design and logo. Okay, so it didn't get enough heat through there. That's no problem. So I'm just gonna put the pad back on. When I started to peel, it started to lift the glitter and I will run the 60 second dwell while I take some more of your questions. Um, the setup is $52 on flex style. Um, we did cover the price is uh, introductory offer right now at $12.95. And lots of good questions. Everybody says they need one. I think you do too. Um, so we're really excited about this press. We're happy to see um, everybody's excited. The 360 IQ, I think it's going to be the new gold standard in decorating headwear uh, from our experts over at Hotronics, who always are innovating uh, new things. So... 23 more seconds left on the countdown. So if you have more questions, feel free to fire them in. Because we're going to, yeah, Heidi. So right now, um, if you get on the list, we are saying an early August ship date. We do have enough pre-orders where we are shipping them every day, trust me, in June and July. Uh, we did write quite a few pre-orders on this machine um, as far back as at least January. There we go and that peeled off quick right away without issues. So, and then we have our completed uh, result. Let's see if I can fish it out of here. And you can see the uh, glitter perfectly applied, uh, no marking uh, at all on the hat. So uh, really cool. So lots of different things you can do with this press, lots of room and the ability uh, to do new things. So that's the 360 IQ. I'll be using this a lot. This will be in my office uh, here for a while along with my auto climb. So you can expect to have more tutorials and me trying new things with this machine. Um, also uh, new videos uh, that will be posted as early as Monday or Tuesday next week that run in deep. But I wanna pivot for a second. We have a good group watching. And I want to uh, welcome Tom from Envision T. So let me bring him on here. Hey Tom, how are you today? Hey, doing good. 
Good, good. So I know you've been a busy guy. Uh, you've got a big event coming up called Shirt Lab Summit, right? Yes. Yeah, we good. Are pump, pumped up for it. Starts on Monday. Good. And so Tom's actually been a Stalls customer for quite some time. So before we go deep into Shirt Lab Summit, do you just want to give everyone watching a kind of a rundown on your business and what you do? Yes. Um, so I started in my parents' basement 15 years ago with our first Stalls Hotronics uh, 16 by 20 heat press. And we were pressing like crazy. And so started off the first couple months doing a lot of uh, heat transfers. And then um, after that, upgraded to our first manual screen printing press and have continually grown. Right now, we just moved this last fall into our new shop, uh, 35,000 square foot uh, production facility, uh, which is amazing to get nice and spread out. We've got um, two air fusions, uh, which we love. Um, and the other thing I tell people about, and I, I always say like, this is maybe we've got a lot of equipment. We've got embroidery, we've got screen printing, everything else. Um, one of our, my favorite pieces of equipment is the heat table is what's the actual name for it? The heated weeding table, yeah. the heated weeding table. Um, the price points like four or $500. I don't know what the actual price is. Um, but as far as like a time saver in our shop, this thing um, basically pays for itself within like a couple of weeks. Like I was like, Oh my God, it literally cut the amount of time it takes us to weed um, 50%. Um, so that was like, I always tell people like, I just somewhat uh, another shop owner was at our shop today and i was giving him a tour and i was like hey let me show you like one of my favorite pieces because he's all wood and wob on the big presses and stuff like that and like yeah. let me show you my favorite piece of equipment i show him the weeding table i'm like this thing right here is a game changer so if you don't have one like that is that's it's like the coolest thing yeah awesome thanks for that feedback and for those customers watching um the 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 table that Tom's talking about is about 20 by 36 inches roughly. So if you're doing any sort of volume and heat transfer vinyl, it's going to definitely pay itself back and it'll be the right uh, unit for you. For those of you that may be a little smaller, um, still work from home or the basement, we also now have a weeding panel uh, that's less than a hundred bucks that just sits flat on the table. Not quite as nice, but still accomplishes the goal. So let's, let's talk a little bit about um, what you're doing uh, now. So I know that, um, You've created quite the name for yourself, uh, Guinness Book of World Records at one point, right? Yes. Um, so people, so the Guinness World Record is um, wearing the most T-shirts at one time, um, and it's 247 T-shirts. I've got the record right here. I set up my desk just to kind of remind me, uh, <laughs> you know, what what I went through to to do that, and um, it's kind of a fun fun uh, accomplishment. Uh, so that got us some worldwide press and I like to, I like to do like weird marketing, um, stunts and media hacks to get a lot of press and a lot of attention for our business. Um, so that's, that's part of the fun of it. Yeah. Cause I know one thing that I saw, and I don't know if it was a week or two weeks ago, you gave a, one of the bonus sessions for, uh, the shirt lab summit because pre-registration has been going so well. That was something about tapping into your, um, celebrity personality or, or something of that nature. So can you tell our viewers that are um, decorating shops or aspiring decorators um, why that should be so important for their business, why they should be looking at that? Yes. Um, so the biggest thing is getting, you know, like one of the biggest shifts in our business, like I said, when I started my parents' basement and then we went to a 2,000 2, square foot shop, then to a 7,000 square foot shop and now to the 35,000. So through those progressions, the biggest um, game changer in our business was when I was able to finally shift from um, getting out from behind the press and getting out in the community and getting involved. So going to chamber events, um, doing these crazy marketing stunts and stuff like that to get local media and press. Um, so usually we, we do something, I come up with an idea um, and we get featured either on the news or in the newspaper um, about once a month. 
And doing that creates this authority and kind of local celebrity type um, figure that um, once I have that, it's easy and it opens up doors. So anytime we're going after bigger clients and things like that, it's easy for me to pick up the phone, call them, get past the gatekeeper, get right to the CEO, get right to the person that's ordering um, and then take my call instead of just, you know, somebody bothering them or, you know, trying to trying to sneak into their company to sell them something. Yeah. So it's more about awareness and really you walk in uh, with the credibility that people understand uh, maybe who you are or also who the company is in the community, which makes the difference. Yes, 100 percent. All right. Um, one last question before we get to Shirt Lab Summit. Um, moving, because I know the story will resonate with a lot of people that are watching live right now, because Stalls um, does business with a ton of home businesses and uh, even part-time businesses that are looking to go full-time. And we're on a Friday, so some of those may be sitting at home right now watching. Um, the transition from parents' basement to shop, um, what was your first hire and how did you arrive uh, on the timing to really take the next step? How did that transpire? Um, boy, that's a good, great question. You know, looking back, things were kind of moving fast those first couple of years. And, you know, what I did was looked for what, you know, I was always trying to do, what is the highest dollar job in our company? Because like, that's going to be the hardest to hire because of cash flow. So Luckily, when I graduated from college, I had a business and computer graphics degree. So I knew I could continue doing the computer graphics. And so the first job we hired was um, a part-time manual printer. Um, and the reason was, is I looked at it and I said, all right, to hire a graph designer, it's going to be this much. To hire a manual printer, it's going to be this much. And I could afford the manual printer. I could afford... Um, to hire a college student to come in part time and wash screens or do that. Um, same with um, right now, you know, like uh, running the heat press in our vinyl department. I can like to train somebody on an embroidery machine or a screen printing press takes a long time for me to train somebody. I can train our sales a sales guy. I can tr train our front desk person. I can train our receiving person. I can train anyone in this building to um run the heat press like within an hour you know a half a day get them through the basics so like when we're looking to fill gaps i know like cross training everything else um that is the easiest job for training and getting somebody up to speed the fastest so what i look for as we've grown um you know from zero from my parents basement to 35 employees is um, what is the lowest dollar amount that we can afford and what position is that, that I need to remove myself from and how fast can we train them? Um, those two factors like make a huge difference. Um, and then being able to cross train other employees throughout different departments. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. We always say, um, and, and I'm, and I'm glad to hear you're saying it because all we do is repeat what customers tell us. Uh, but sometimes we get perceived as the salespeople, you know, um, but, but really the heat press is one of the easiest jobs that doesn't require necessarily skilled labor. So the idea that, um, you can put somebody on it and it may not put the output across an hour that an automatic would, but as far as scalability from a labor standpoint, it's one of the simplest machines that you can have. So, yes. I mean, if you can, the biggest thing is like, visually being able to line it up straight and if you've got lasers or anything else to help with that um but once they figure out how to get the shirt lined up straight get the you know we do a ton of sports teams and different things so get the name and number um and get them on there straight it is just like you know once they figure that out and sometimes you know start off the first couple hours they might be using a ruler um to to get it straightened up and everything else but once once they can get it straight it's easy and we found like a lot of people enjoy it. like college kids love doing it i enjoy doing it it's because it's like one of the easiest jobs in the shop to do so I'm like yeah you got some stuff to knock out i'll go i'll go knock that order out quick on the heat press so that's one thing i love about it and then of course with the air fusion um i remember early on starting like with the clamp down um after a full day like my arms and the shape yeah my arms <laughs> I probably didn't have the pressure right or something and 
you know, be popping up. And um, but now with their fusion, it's like boom, hit the buttons, and we're good to go. We can start lining up the next one. So it's gotten a lot easier since I first started. Good, and I know we're uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you more as you're on the list for the for the 360 IQ here. And so yeah. we're interested to hear your journey and how you uh, implement that. So for those listening, we'll have Tom back on um, over the coming months and, and kind of document his journey with this press and, and see how things are going and how he's integrating that into what he's selling. But I want to make sure we talk about Shirt Lab because I am super excited for this event. Let me see if I can pull up my uh, graphic here. So this is the largest virtual event for gaining an unfair advantage with your decorated apparel business, Shirt Lab Summit. So I'm gonna pull a graphic up that'll be across where people can actually uh, log in, but uh, give us the elevator pitch on Shirt Lab Summit and why people should wanna to go to this. Yeah, so when I say the largest event is because in person, if we were doing this event live, it would be hard to pack 30 plus speakers into one event i mean that is a lot so my expectation is people may not watch every single um speaker or every single presentation but um right now in their business depending on what they're struggling with whether it's sales or marketing or some part of operations um you know it might be embroidery it might be screen printing, it might be um heat press things and or facebook ads or whatever it may be you can pick and choose the ones that are gonna help your business the most right now. Um, so that's the greatest part about having this wealth of experts combined into one event. There's over 2,300 other um, decorated apparel businesses registered already. So we're gonna have some opportunities for some networking in there as well. It's a pretty amazing um, group that we've got together. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to have live Q&A sessions in the Facebook group. So be on the interviews. Um, if there's questions people are stuck on right now or even just navigating everything that's going on with the pandemic, um, we've got experts here um, in the industry that have been through the ups and downs of you know different downturns and everything else that we're here to help people out, help answer questions and help people keep moving forward. Yeah, and so uh, for those listening, this is June first to third, so it's not far off. I know the the invite that I have there. Um, the we're, we're giving you a free ticket, basically. Um, Stalls is a sponsor, and I, I know the goal of the team at Shirt Lab, Tom and Marshall, was to uh, help people in their business, and it's more than just uh, how to and production. It's sales and marketing. I had the opportunity to attend one of the events in DC. It's actually hard to believe it's been a year ago now. I think it was May of last year. Yeah. Um, the in-person event, I don't think it can be replaced. So I would highly recommend that people look at what's coming once we move out of COVID-19 and get to one of those. But right now for sitting at home, if you have a, if you have some time next week, it's free. You can always upgrade to get more content, but uh, at least go to this link, uh, sign up and tap into everything that's happening there. It's going to be an awesome time. Uh, so give me a highlight reel. I know myself and Dane uh, Clement are, are two of the speakers there, but give me uh, a few other speakers that people should want to listen to. I know they should want to hear them all. So just yeah, give it to you. <laughs> there's so much firepower there. Um, you know, Dana Derricks, uh, he's the marketing expert on the Dream 100. And that is a marketing thing that we use here to contact our top 100 um, clients. And we land some pretty big fish with that. Um, let's see, we've got uh, Mark Gervais. Uh, he's running a big shop in, um, I think, China, maybe 100 automatic presses, something like that. It's just ridiculous wow. numbers. Um, Rock Lamana talks about um, either setting your business up to, uh, sell it. So acquisitions, um, selling your company, buying other companies, uh, which is pretty big right now. Um, Joyce, Joyce Yeager with uh, embroidery, um, Brad White and Ken Seidel. Uh, those two guys are complete sales experts. I mean, they crush it. If you're looking at setting up a sales team or growing that way, um, just so much good stuff. Uh, Charity Gibson, she's from the promo world and um, Peerless Umbrella, she she knocks it out of the park, um, but lots of just gold all up and down. Like I was doing the interviews and I'm taking notes myself and I'm like, this is awesome. This is so good. 
And so I was super jazzed up um, to get to do the interviews and looking forward to getting, you know, getting the rest of the event going. Good. So, uh, folks, if you haven't uh, signed up yet to this, I know you all are part probably of our Heat Press for Profit Facebook group. Uh, Shirt Lab has their own uh, group that you can also join and network with other attendees and experts during the time, as uh, Tom was saying. But we'll make sure uh, we keep the conversation going everywhere. Uh, early next week, so you guys can talk about the sessions, uh, network with the experts with their live events over on the the Shirt Lab group. And um, I've had some early access, so I've been able to watch some of these sessions already. Um, and I can tell you, I'm definitely learning things just as Tom was uh, through watching the sessions. There were at least 15 people there that that I never had listened to before. And so the opportunity to do that from the comfort of your, ho your home in a three-day block is, uh, is just phenomenal. So the invite's on the screen for everybody. Uh, anything else, Tom, before we wrap up here? No, we're looking forward. It's going to be an amazing event. Uh, the Facebook group's going to be um, a lot of energy and a lot of activity with the Q&A session um, going for th basically three days straight. Um, so really looking forward to that and seeing what people are you know, struggling with, what's, what their challenges are and how we can help them and keep the industry and keep everyone moving forward together. So that's our goal with this and just really looking forward to that. Good. Well, we got Adam. Adam signed up. Thanks for the free ticket. So we're good there. Um, and then just want to take a couple questions before we conclude. Renee said, um, of course, she got called back to her job. That's a good thing uh, right now. Um, will will they be on re replay if they can't watch live? She ended up upgrading, yeah. I think. So um, Renee, good. So we've got the all access pass available. So uh, as I said, it's free to watch live and you've got um, 24 hours basically for each day, um, June 1st through 3rd to watch it. If you wanna watch it beyond that or you wanna watch the replays um, or you know have your team be able to watch it, um, we have an all access pass available uh, so you can get lifetime access to all of the interviews. You can get them in MP3 format as well. So if you wanna to listen to them in the car or while you're working out, and then we also have notes available from all the speakers and transcripts that you can download um, and some bonus sessions. So if you get the all access pass, we've got bonus sessions. We have bonus questions where we dove in just a little bit deeper with each speaker. And those are absolutely on fire as well. Good. All right. So, yeah. So the answer is yes or no. You can definitely access that stuff. And you guys got a little bit of uh, information there for 47 bucks for for access like that, you can't beat it. So uh, Tom, thanks so much again for hopping on. I know your schedule is super hectic right now leading up to this event with being featured lots of places while trying to run uh, one of your full-time businesses. So uh, we thank you very much as always for uh, being able to join us. Awesome, thanks Josh, appreciate you. All right. All right guys, wanna thank you for joining me live here on a Friday um, after our Making It Together session with Jenna. I know we kept you a little longer. Um, I will be doing uh, more videos uh, next week. Uh, I won't be doing anything on Monday because I'll be live on the Shirt Lab event. And I know I'm tuning in Monday night in their Facebook group. I think it, my time slot is around eight o'clock in the evening to be able to take any of your questions. Want to give you plenty of time uh, to watch the session. So everyone have a great weekend. Uh, good luck with your heat printing business this weekend. I'm sure you're still pressing stuff and we'll talk to you all next week.